जय गुरु दत्ता जय सीताराम प्रणाम एंड प्रस्ट्रेशन टू अर बिलविद सर गुरु हिज होलीनेस श्री 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 गणपति सचिदानंद स्वामी जी थ्रू हूज ब्लेसिंग्स वी आर एबल टू मीट हियर दिस इवनिंग टू इनोग्यूरेट द फर्स्ट मंथ्स यज्ञ ऑन द भागवत महापुराण pranams and prostrations to sri swami ji and pranams to our pandit ji lunar pandit ganesh maharaj ji of the sanatan dharma mahasabha and welcome to all the musicians to all of you who are present here and to all of those who are listening on radio jagriti and tv jagriti and to all those who are abroad a hearty welcome this is our first night of one year long yagya on bhagwat mahapuran our very first night and it and the night especially is very auspicious because it, we celebrate today makar sankranti of which pandit ji will tell you more about as this night's program will be will be dedicated to this makar sankranti day tomorrow and the other days we will be talk pandit ji will be talking about the bhagwat mahapuran and giving you the relevant kathas so once again i welcome all of you in this time of this global epidemic and we all know that there's only one medicine for this and the medicine is listening to this kat kathas from the pages of our glorious scriptures this is the only medicine prayers so we are happy we are happy that you are on board and you are participating in our evenings activities a hearty welcome to all of you once again and it gives me great pleasure to ask our manager to offer a garland to pandit ji before he commences this evening's program So Mr. Supreme Musai our manager is offering a garland to Pandit Ganesh Maharaj and thereafter Pandit ji will take over the proceedings for this evening Jai Guru Datta Jai Sri Ram तुन्न महाकाय सूर्य कोटि सम प्रभा निर्विघ्न गुरु मे देवा सर्वकारेशु सर्वदा सर्वकारेशु सर्वदा 
गणपति स्वामी की जय वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की जय सदगुरु महाराज की जय इन ऑल थिंग्स द ब्लेसिंग्स ऑफ महा गणपति इज सोथ first amongst all endeavors all undertakings all projects in this the first night of the first month of katha for the year 2022 we seek the blessing of pranava swarupam bhaniraj bhushan animadi siddhi prada sri vignarajam the one who would remove all obstacles all troubles and impediments he who is ganaraja the king of all things yogi gana the greatest amongst all yogis pranamami girija shivanandanandanam the darling son of the divine couple lord shiva shankar and girija mata to the one who is pratham pujya the first to be worshiped may he remove the obstacles in our way may this year for all of us in our country 
and in the world that we share and call our home. May this year be a year of better days. We often hear that better days are ahead. We pray that may better days start from today. May better days start from right now. Maha Ganapati Swami Ki Jai. Anurva Swaroopam Aniraja Bhusham Animadi Sindhi Prat Sri Vigna Raja Anurva Swaroopam Aniraja Bhusham Animadi Sindhi Prat Sri Vigna Raja Swami Ki Jai Maha Ganapati Swami Ki Jai In all things one must be guided in whatever your career life has brought you to the guidance is necessary Someone would have to point the way forward for you to understand and appreciate that this is what you want to do with your life. Sometimes it may not come directly. Someone may unknowingly inspire others. Someone from a distance, from a far off land, may have done something to inspire many others to follow their pathway, to follow in their footsteps. Therefore, not being in the direct company of someone does not mean that you cannot emulate their efforts and their success. This is the role of the Guru not needing to be in your direct presence. For all those who have gone to the great beyond, teachers, inspirers, those who motivate, 
and those who have made a mark in all of our lives. Parents, elders, teachers, instructors, those who have guided the way, even though they are no longer here, what they've taught us will stay forever. Similarly, if someone has left a mark in your life, if someone has left an indelible impression in your heart, in your thoughts, in your way of thinking, in your mode of operation, they can be thousands of miles away. And uh, still, you can try your very best to live up to the standards that they have set. Gurus, Sadgurus, Acharyas, Swamis, such is their work, tending to all the world over, while yet being in one place, to all the Gurus of the world, all who are still with us, and those who have gone to the great beyond, we bow our heads again and again, Koti Koti Pranam, to the feet of all the teachers of mankind.
सतगुरु महाराज की जय नमस्ते श्री राम जय गुरु दत्ता एंड वेलकम टू दिस इवनिंग सत्संग दिस इवनिंग कथा द प्रवचन द फर्स्ट नाइट ऑफ द फर्स्ट मंथ ऑफ भागवतम फॉर दिस ईयर 2022 which will center not around any fixed dates but according to that which is uh, auspicious during each month of our calendar year makar sankranti is the very first of these uh, auspicious occasions and uh, the very first of all these observances today is one of the most blessed days in the entire year when the sun enters the sign of capricorn makara makara means crocodile in the bhajan it says makara kundal dhare bhakte vandu shori mukti date shakti date vital darare ram krishna hari मुकुंद मुरारी पांडुरंग 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 हरे मकर कुंडल धारी एरिंग्स आर शेप लाइक क्रोकोडाइल्स फिश शेप एरिंग्स मकर राशि केप्रिकॉन व्हेन द सन हैज बिगन इट्स नॉर्दर्न मूवमेंट this is called the daylight the day time of the devatas going across from now until the middle movement of the equator when the time between day and night will be just about the same and then going down to the second half of the year where it crosses the tropic of uh, cancer and then this taurus and all these other horoscopes that allow for difference in time This is the day that Bhishma Pitamaha chose to give up uh, his life even though he was inundated with arrows from the Mahabharat war. He breathed his last on uh, this time frame, this time period. Today, tomorrow and uh, Sunday we shall be here for three nights of Bhagavatam Katha. which is uh, made possible to tv and radio jagruti by our very very kind sponsors to whom we extend our sincerest gratitude and our humble prayer we extend it to your homes your families your business asking that may you continue to prosper so that you can allow us the opportunity of uh, serving humanity by extending god's scripture and discussions all throughout the country the region and the globe even though today is the first day of these uh, three days with our president's permission i want to leave the actual discussion of lord surya bhagwan for sunday even though today is the sankranti itself how will i get you to come back next two days how will i get you to log in next two days so maybe we should leave the katha of when lord surya bhagwan visits his son shani saturn even though they are not on the best of terms when lord surya bhagwan visits his son for that time and all seems well in the heavens how did they come to be not on good terms in the first place we shall discuss on sunday the sun's day surya's day ravivar din it is said amongst all things that a bath in the holy ganges in the ganga is the most blessed thing you can do outside of mother india bharat desh if you can take a bath in the ocean or the river this is also auspicious 
if you cannot get to a lake, a river, or the ocean outside of India, you stay in your shower and you chant Har Har Gange, Har Har Gange, Har Har Gange. With the water falling over you, Gange Cha Yamune Cha Chaiva Godavari Saraswati Nanabarasan Dukabiri Jalyasmin Saradam Guru Har Har Gange, Har Har Gange, Har Har Gange. Invoking the presence of Ganga Devi in the water that falls over you. You are making the water that is there immediately as pure as Ganga Devi herself. It is said that for those who wear the Janeo, the Yagipavita, the Janeo must be changed as soon as the sun enters the Sankranti. That was this morning. Chanting of the Surya Mantra or the names of Lord Surya Bhagwan is highly auspicious. Mitraya Namaha, Ravaya Namaha, Suryaya Namaha, Bhanave Namaha, Kaghaya Namaha, Pushne Namaha, Hiranyakarabhaya Namaha, Maritraya Namaha, Aratyaya Namaha, Savatreya Namaha, Arkaraya Namaha, Bhaskaraya Namaha, the 12 names of Lord Surya. For those who are into yoga, those who practice, today is the day when the sun is rising, you perform chanting these individual mantras, the 12 positions known as the Surya Namaskar, one of the most important exercises in all of yoga. For those who are on the spiritual path, which we all should be on, chanting of the Gayatri Mata Mantra, either with the Mala or in Huma, the Havan with the Ghee or Gugul. Ghee with white till as well as the chanting of the Surya Gayatri all these are very very important and auspicious things you can do but amongst all of these invoking the presence of Ganga Devi is the most blessed thing you can do Bhagavad Mahapuran Canto 9, chapter 8 and 9 discusses how important Ganga Mata is. And as we enter into the discussion for today, we enter into Bhagavad Puran Sumiran. Poli Sri Brindraban Bihadilal Ki Jai Narayan Bhagavan Ki Jai. Sidhi Sidhi Dada Sidhi Sadan Varan Varna Sumira Baram Madan Kadan Kilan Ko Ganapati Kripa Nidha Kani Anand Bhavan Devu Moi Vardhan Varno Bhash Bhagavat Jai Shiva Anand Kand Bhujanat Bhavai Harna Bhakti Vishay Nirvan Gauravadan Mangal Karna Ebraj Chandra Mukund Brajushan Dushan Harna Kaatahu Bhav Bhaya Pand Charan Sharan Jaya Jagadish Sevat Shesh 
महेश अज महिमा अमित अभेव देर भेर जानत नहीं देहो मोही बरदान राधावर यह वर सदा प्रेम भरी मुस्कान नित चित में खट खट रहे मोही चाहिए कचुनाही और वस्तु प्रभु जट के पास रहे मन माही यह बाकी जागी सदा लिए लाओ पाल लिए साथ मोर मुकुट शिर पर धरे कर मुरली उर माल शीश मुकुट गति पीठ पट या चबि सो नंद लाल बस हृदय मम वस गुरु पद रज धर शीष कहु भागवत की कथा जो सुख देव मुनीष कहीं परीक्षित नृपति सु कहीं परीक्षित नृपति सु वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की जय श्रीमद भागवतम दिस ऑफ द ग्रेटनेस ऑफ द यूनिवर्स दिस वर्ल्ड दैट वी लिव इन एंड द मेनी मेनी लीलास of the lord divine the ninth canto contains explanations of uh, dynasties that occurred before hastinapur dwaraka and all these other citadels for the historians from king ikshvaku the lineage of that king who it was told chose the sugar king as his favorite from that time coming straight down from durvas muni himself when he explained to all those who were around him to the downfall of shaubhari muni and the connections from uranjaya indravaha anena prithu kuvalsavaha श्रावस्त ऋस्व किंग आफ्टर किंग आफ्टर किंग एज वेल एज द डिसेंडेंट्स ऑफ किंग मान धाता हु इवेंचुअली एज सुखदेव गो स्वामी वॉज टेलिंग ऑल दीजेस वो देर अमंग्स ऑल द सन्स ऑफ किंग मान धाता was the one known as ambarish going on to purukutsa trishadasya anaranya haryashava praruna king after king after king after king 
until it came to in chapter 8 of the ninth canto श्री सुकुवाच हरिदोरोहित सुतस चंपस्तस्मारि निर्मिता चंपापुरी सुदेवो तो विजयो यस्य चात्मजह The son of Rohit was called Harita Harita's son was Champa who constructed the famous city known as Champapuri Champa's son was Sudeva and his son was Vijaya Vridham dam paan chatam praptam mishchanu marishyati aurvena janatatmanam prajavandam nivarita The son of Vijaya was Bharuka and his son was Vrika his son was Bahuka it is said that all the enemies of King Bahuk surrounded him, overcame him, overpowered him and took away all his possessions. And then he decided to retire to the forest with his wife. He died an old man. His wives wanted to take their own life as soon as he breathed his last. But out of a muni, knowing that the queen was with a child advised against that. Knowing that she would give birth any time coming. Both wives of the old king Bahuk wanted to poison one of the other wives. It is said by, by the blessing of the, the Muni, out of a Muni, she was not to give up her life. Giving her poison with her food, which had no effect on her by the Muni's blessing. Instead, Saha Tineva Sanjata Sagra Kyo Mahaya Saha Sagra Chakra Vacha Ashit Sagro Yatta Sutai Krataha. The son was born along with the poison. Therefore, he became known as. Sagara, one born with poison. Sagara later became the emperor and the place known as Ganga Sagara was excavated by his sons. Says in the Katha for this evening, why is it so important to take the bath to invoke the presence of Ganga Devi? We hear today. Yes, Talan Jagan Yavana Jagan Ehaya Barbara Navadin Vi Guru Vagin Navadi Guru Vagin Craving greater Vesina, Jack Craving greater Vesina, whom Namo Bagabati was Oh, 
स्वयं में जत सर्वीर सुरात्मक और उपदिष्ट योगेन और उपदिष्ट योगेन हर महात्मेश्वर हर Sagar Maharaj, following the order of his spiritual master Aurava, did not kill uncivilized men. Instead, some of them he made to dress awkwardly. Some of them he shaved their heads clean. Some of them he left wearing loose hair. Some were half dressed, some were half shaved, some without any clothes. These different clans were made to look foolish. But King Sagara did not kill them. He left them to exist as examples of their punishments. Following the instructions of the great sage Aurava, Sagra Maharaj performed the Ashwamedha sacrifice and thus satisfied God himself. The super soul of all beings and the knower of all Vedic knowledge, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. But Indradev, he who causes mischief, Indradev, the King of Heaven, he stole the horse that was sent as the symbol of the Ashwamedha Yajna. Ashwamedha, when the king puts on the breastplate for the horse and puts the inscription that I, King Sagar, I am declaring my dominance over all the lands by which this horse would run or trod. For any kingdom that would succumb or bow to my rule or come under my hand, either add your inscription or let the horse run free and send to the next kingdom. Whosoever would wish to challenge my authority can keep the horse and therefore the battle shall be put in place to decide who is better, who is supreme, who is the one who shall rule over all the lands. King Sagara had two wives, Sumati and Keshni. The sons of Sumati, who were very, very proud of their power and their influence, following the order of their father, they began to search for the lost horse. And while doing so, they began to dig into the earth itself. They dug into the earth itself, going deeper and deeper, looking to find thereafter. Pragutyam Desihyam Darishu in the northeastern direction, they saw the horse near the ashram of Kapilamuni. And immediately, without asking any questions, they thought, here is the man who has stolen the horse. They said, he is staying there with his eyes closed, pretending he can't see us and pretending he does not know what is going on. He is practicing fraud. Therefore, we should kill him, having taken our father's horse. Shouting like this, 
the 60000 sons of king sagara raised their weapons made a terrible noise and they approached the siege kapila mahamuni swasharira ninadavan mahindra rit jetasa mahad vyakti kram hatta भस्म साबवन कृणात भस्म साधवन कृणात ओ नमो भगवते वासुदेवा बाय द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ इंद्र द किंग ऑफ हेवन The sons of Sagar had lost their intelligence and disrespected the great personality Kapila Mahamuni. Even though some katha says that when he opened his eyes he burned them, Bhagavatam says in verse 11 of chapter 8 of Canto 9. The fire of rage, the fire of anger, the fire of their own destruction. emanated from their own bodies and they were immediately burned to ashes fire is not that which burns not that which cooks bhagwan krishna says in bhagavad gita i am the fire within the fire of the jashan and that which is very prevalent these days because of the pandemic agni devata is also kravyada agni the eater of flesh to whom we consign our loved ones and it seems as though uncle president that by god's good grace on the auspicious occasion of makar sankranti the day of good things that in our country the ban on the open pyres has been lifted and good sense has prevailed amongst all the signatures of all the organizations the tatra yoga center has pledged to support and now hindus all over the country can feel some sort of relief not having to seek a loan or dip in your pockets or any other such ideas makar sankranti 2022 has brought about a change for the better even though we are still grappling with the pandemic itself for those who have succumbed to this deadly disease it is now easier for us as hindus to give our loved ones the proper farewell that they so deserve the anger the fire of anger that is within all of us can be good and bad the anger of not passing an examination can fuel you to pass on the second try the fire the desire to succeed is what can push us to achieve great heights one of trinidad and tobago's uh, newest attorneys is in our audience tonight one of my iraqi sisters young attorney tulsi the desire to achieve the desire to succeed the desire to become better because at no point in time you are competing with anyone you are only supposed to compete with yourself and who you were yesterday you are supposed to compete with who you were before you and you alone are your greatest treasure you and you alone in this world in this lifetime you are your greatest friend and your greatest enemy you can choose to push yourself day by day or you can choose to push yourself down day by day 
You can put yourself up your own flight of stairs to your own success, your own happiness, your own peace of mind. Or you can take the shovel for yourself and dig a pit so deep you yourself will not be able to come out in time. It says, by the influence of Indra, the king of heaven, the sons of Sagara had lost their intelligence and disrespected the great personality Kapila Mahamuni. Consequently, the fire of rage and anger came from within them and they were immediately burned to ashes. Nasadhu Vadamuni Kopa Bhaditaha Naprinda Putriti Satwad Harmony Gatam Damu Roshmayam Vibhavyati Jagat Pavitrani Jagat Pavitramani Ke Rajobhuha They said the kings of Sagara were burned to ashes by the fire emanating from themselves, not from the eyes of Kapila Mahamuni. They said, when that happened, amongst the sons of Sagra Maharaj, there was one other by the other queen, named Asmanjasa, who was born of Queen Keshni. The son of Asmanjasa was known as Amshuman. And he was always engaged in working for the good of Sagara Maharaja's grandfather. The text continues to tell as we chant beautifully Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Please join. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Asmanjasa had been a great mystic yogi, but by bad association he had fallen from his position. And now in this life he was born in a royal family and was a Jati Smara. That is, he was able to have the special advantage of being able to remember his past birth. Not all of us are that lucky. If we were that lucky, then how many more things would have changed even from day one? Nonetheless, Asmanjasa wanted to display himself as a wayward individual and he would have done all the things that were not in the best interest of himself, his family or even society. O King Parikshit, when all the inhabitants of Ayodhya saw that their boys had come, it says text 17 and 18, the king is being told, because Asamanjasa engaged him in all these terrible deeds, his father gave up affection for him and had him exiled. By using his mystic powers, he would make people faint and then revive them after some time, showing them to the king and their parents. After this, he had left the city of Ayodhya. When all the people of Ayodhya saw that their boys had come back to life, they were astounded. And King Sagara, 
greatly lamented the absence of his own sons. Thereafter, Ansuman, the grandson of Maharaja Sagana, was ordered by the king to search for the horse, the Ashwamedha horse. Following the same pathway traversed by his uncles, Amsuman gradually reached the stack of ashes and found the horse nearby. The great Ansuman saw the sage Kapila. He who is none other but an incarnation of Mahavishnu, sitting there next to the horse. Amsuman did the opposite of what his ancestors did. He bowed his head and gave reverence to the sage folded his hands and offered to him prayers with great attention. Amsuman said, My Lord, Amsuman Uvacha Napashati Twam Param Matmano Jano Nabudya Tejapi Samadhi Yukti Vihi Kutu Paritasya Manha Sri Radhi Visarika Svastavyam Aprakasha My Lord, even Brahmadi to this very day is unable to understand your position which is far beyond himself either by meditation or by any speculation. We are completely in ignorance therefore how can we understand your great mind? Mahagut Mahapuran tells the actions and reactions of the modes of ignorance whether the living entities are awake or sleeping can only see the workings of material nature and they cannot see your greatness. My Lord, sages freed from the influence of the three modes of material nature are able to think of you who are concentrated knowledge. But how can an ignorant person understand you. Those who are bewildered by the influence of lust, greed, envy and illusion are interested only in false ideas and they are taken up by the Maya of this world. Attached to everything, they wander this world trapped by delusion. The sage said, After being glorified by Amshuman, the great sage Kapila explained to him the idea and the pathway of knowledge. He said, Sri Bhagavan Vacha Ashvayam Niyatam Matsa Peta Mahapashustava Imicha Petaro Dhagdha Ganga Mohranti Netarate. Here is the horse sought by your grandfather for the yajna. Please take it. As for your forefathers, these 60,000 ancestors of yours who have been burnt to ashes, they can only be delivered when touched by the water of the Ganga and not by any other means. The horse was given back to Maharaja Sagara who completed the required sacrifice. Chapter 9 of Canto 9 of Srimad Bhagavatam says Anshuman like his grandfather performed austerities and penance for a very very long time but he could not bring the Ganga to this material world. After some time he departed this world. Dilipastan Sutastan Vadan Akshata Kalame Yavan Hagirata Tata Sutasya Repesa Sunamatapa Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Shatam Devi Vrasanna Varadasmite Iti Yukta Swam Abhiram Prayam Samshasa Varnato Nripa
नृप शाम शाम नो नृप ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय गोपीनाई वेगम पतन चा मे महीतले अन्यता भूतल भिवा नृपया से रसातल नृपया से रसातल ओ नमो भगवते वासुदेवा ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवा ओम नमो भगवते Like Anshuman himself, Dilip, his son, was also unable to bring the Ganga to the earth. He also passed on. Dilip's son, however, Bhagirath, performed very severe austerities, and Darshiyam Asa Tam Devi. the mother ganga appeared before king bhagirath and said i am very much satisfied with your austerities and i am now prepared to give you the benedictions you so desire being thus addressed by ganga devi the king bowed his head before her and explained that he would like for her to touch the ashes of his 60000 ancestors the divine mother ganga devi explained gopi धारितावेगम वन आई फॉल फ्रॉम द हेमस्फेयर टू द सर्फिस ऑफ द अर्थ द वॉटर विल सर्टन बी फोर्सफुल हु विल सस्टेन दैट फोर्स इफ आई एम नॉट सस्टेन आई शेल पियर्स द सर्फिस ऑफ द अर्थ एंड गो डाउन टू द सेवन वर्ल्ड बिलो स्ट्रेट डाउन टू रसा तल पाता द एरिया दट इज वे बिलो all the creation o king i do not wish to go down to the earth because as well people will bathe themselves in my waters and cleanse themselves i will become polluted two things o king how can my strength be contained and am i coming there to be polluted by sinners of the earth how can i be free from those who would pollute me with their sins you must consider this rajami tad agam kwaham rajam satra vichintayam rajam satra vichintayam you must consider this o king ganga devi is saying he had one answer for her with regards to her purity he says beautifully sri bhagirath vacha sadavo nyachina santa brahma tishta loka pavana aryantagyam degya sangata te swaste yanga vidindhari not only sinners occupy the earth there are good individuals and because of their good nature because of their devotional service to god because of their good actions on a daily basis those who have renounced all things who are free from material desires and those who are pure devotees of god those who are expert in following all the principles mentioned in the vedas who are pure in behavior those who are able to uplift others when such pure people bathe in your water o devi the sinful accumulation of others karma will be nullified it will be purified they will keep you pure makar sankranti 
is when the holy ones as well take a dip in the ganga the sages or the kumbh mela go rushing into the ganga and every 12 years is the maha kumbh mela it is said that even the immortal ones ashwatthama bali vibhishan markande hanuman they leave their place and they come and they bathe in the ganga it is by their good nature by their good deeds by their good karma o mata you will be purified and able again to take all the sins of all those who would come and bathe within you with this plan in place he had only one more problem to solve when asked who will accept the force of ganga devi on this earth speaking to all the gods dhara ishchati te vegam rudrastvam atma sharirinam yasmin bhutam miram brutam vishwam sateva tantushu there is only one like a cloth made of threads extending for length and breadth in this entire universe this entire creation with all its latitude and longitude only one energy is able to contain the strength and the force of ganga devi as she has about to leave the heavens and that is none other than lord shiva shankar he who represents the super soul itself he from which all energy has come from he from which all embodied souls exist he and he alone can sustain the energy of divine mother ganga bhagirath offered prayer to lord shiva shankara lord sarah shiva मानसा दृत बहुभवन मानसा मानसा दृत बहुभवन नाना जीवा कारो लसन नाना जीवा कारो लसन शंकर शंकर Mahapat 
श्रीमती महादेव की जय कैलाशपति शिव शंकर भगवान की जय ब्रिंग टू भगवान शिव performing austerities worshiping him says lord shiva shankar accepted the proposal tateti hiradnya bihitam sarvalokahita shiva tadhara bahito gangam parputta jalam hari accepting the proposal and saying that has to with great attention he sustained the ganga the ganges in the locks of his hair she who has come from the toes of bhagwan vishnu and if you're asking yourself you thought that she came from the hair of lord shiva no she's only kept there tomorrow we'll discuss what they mean by the toes of lord vishnu king bhagirat brought ganga to that place on earth where the bodies of his forefathers lay burnt to ashes ratena vayu vegena pryantam anudhavati deshan buranti nirdhakan asan cha sagaratmajan om namo bhagavate vasudeva mahirat mounted a swift chariot and drove in front of mother ganga she came rushing down she followed him wherever he went purifying many countries until they reached the ashes of mahagirat's forefathers the sons of sagara who were thus sprinkled with water from ganga those who had offended the sage kapila mahamuni having felt the touch of ganga who were eligible to go to the heavenly planets if these who had offended the sage the sage who that personification of godhead those who had offended him could be given a place in heaven then what is to be said of you and i our sins are not that terrible compared to the sons of sagara simply by having water from ganga come into contact with their burnt bodies the sons of sage sagar maharaj were elevated to the heavenly planets therefore kimpunah sradhaya devim sevyante tata pradaha for those who would worship ganga mata who would invoke her presence one can only imagine the benefit that would be given to us the sankranti The celebration is of over four days, yesterday, today, tomorrow and Sunday. Next few days, or every day, when you shower, chant, Hara Hara Gange, Hara Hara Gange, Hara Hara Gange, while the water is flowing over you. She who comes from the lotus toe of the Supreme Personality of God at Mahavishnu, she is able to liberate one from material bondage, and with her touch with her grace we are all able to become purified boli sri ganga maharani ki jai mahavishnu bhagwan ki jai sadguru maharaj ki jai on the sankranti day today even if you didn't know all waters became ganga so if you had a shower today you have been blessed indirectly you are also supposed to be in every day but before you leave this evening the water in the lota that is used in the puja will be given to all of you in your hands and you sprinkle over your head chant hara hara gange hara hara gange every day from today onwards when you take your shower chant hara hara gange Har Har Gange, Har Har Gange. Her origin is not from the hair of Mahadeva, Lord Shiva Shankar, but it is said that she is the causal ocean that existed above the covering of this universe. Tomorrow we hear that katha, including a Vaman avatar, 
of Mahavishnu. And on Sunday we discuss Lord Surya, Shani Dev, and the staying of Lord Surya with his own son, Lord Shani, the planet Saturn. As we have the first of the every month of Katha, these first three nights, today, tomorrow, and Sunday. Brought to you live on Radio and TV Jaguti to the kind sponsorship of all our corporate friends. And uh, coming to you right here from the auspicious hall of the Data Yoga Center to the kind accommodation of our president and uh, the executive. Next month, month after, we shall be given all the dates as we go further and further into the scripture of Bhagavad Mahapuram. Chant with me, Narayan Narayan, as we light the diyas and prepare for Arati. Narayan Narayan Sriman Narayan 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 Sajam Javarati Samyuktam Pahina Yogitam Deepam Grihana Devesha Trilokya Tvyapaham Ye Amara Granta Ye Mukti Panta Ye Panjama Vera Nirala Navajoti Jagaanevala Ye Amara Granta Ye Mukti Panta Ye Panjama Vera Nirala Navajoti Jagaanevala Hare Gaana Ye Varadana Ye Hare Gaana Ye Varadana Ye जग की मंगल जी आरती आपियों को पाप से है तारती जय भागवत भगवान की है यारती आपियों को पाप से है तारती
जग बंद कोल सन मार्ग दिखाने वाला बिगरी को बनाने वाला ये मधुर बोल जग बंद कोल सन मार्ग दिखाने वाला बिगरी को बनाने वाला श्री राम यही Take care of all of us who you've put on this earth. We don't have another one to go to. Even Lord Shani's planet, Saturn, Jupiter, Mercury, Mars. None of these can sustain life, O oh Lord. None of these have your rainbows, your mountains, your oceans, your flora and fauna. None of these are able to show us the magnanimity of your wondrous creativity. Lord, this earth is all that we have. Take care of all of us, your children. Swasti Pradabhya Paripaliyanda Take care of the good-hearted ones. The meek, the downtrodden, the troubled, the worried, the scared. Take care of all of your children, O oh Lord. We place everything we do, we place everything we say, all our promises, all our hopes, all our wishes for a better tomorrow. May that tomorrow become today. We are your children, O oh Lord. And we come to you. Hey, Jagat Pita Bhagavan, take care of us because only you can do so. Hari Om Yam Brahma Varunendra Rundra Madhuta Sun Vandi Devi Savai Virai Sangha Parik Kramo Shupanishadai Gayanti Yam Samaga Jana Vashtita Tangati Namanasa Pashanti Yam Yogino Yasyantam Naviru Sura Surajana Deva Yatasme Namaha Deva Yatasme Namaha Karacharanakitam Kaya jam garma jamma Sravana nayana jamma Manasam vaparadam Vihitam abhihitam va Sarvamita chamasva Jaya jaya karunamde Sri Mahadeva shambhu Jaya Jai Karunabdi Sri Mahadeva Shambhu Jaya Jai Karunabdi Sri Mahadeva Shambhu
ಶ್ರೀಗಣೇಶಾಯ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀ ಸರಸ್ವತೆ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀ ಪಾರವಲ್ಲಭ ನರಸಿಂಹ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುದತ್ತಾತ್ರೆಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓ ಲೋಕ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಸುಖಿನೋ ಮಹಾಗಣಪತಿ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಶಿವಶಂಕರ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಆರ್ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಜಗರಂಬಾ ದುರ್ಗಾ ಮಾತಾ ಕಿ ಜಯ ದತ್ತಾತ್ರೇಯ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಅನಘಾ ಮಾತಾ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಪವನ ಪುತ್ರ ಹನುಮಾನ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಮಹಾರಾಜ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಸತ್ಯ ಸನಾತನ ಧರ್ಮ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಕಿರಂದವರ್ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಸಿಟ್ಸ್ 